I'm sorry, Earth's closed today. You better pack it up and get out of here. We should value the assurance of a man who can expel his superhero cloak and still see himself as a genius, billionaire, playboy, philanthropist. It might sound arrogant. Anyway, it doesn't make it any less clear. Tony Stark's character embarks on a whole new level of narcissism when sacrificing himself to save the world. He began as a presumptuous billionaire who made weapons for the United States to being the ultimate superhero that loves and adores. So pucker up as we discuss the top 10 Iron Man moments. Starting off the list, we have Iron Man vs Thanos. While many fans speculated the inevitable Thanos would be defeated by a powerful Avenger like Hulk or Captain Marvel, they didn't expect Tony Stark to go on one-on-one -on -one with Thanos in Avengers Infinity War because it doesn't possess superhuman abilities to take down a supervillain. We did forget for a mere second though that Tony was actually the strongest hero ever as a human, starting with his suit army to his nanotech suit, and in case you forgot, this man even made a mass destructive AI, Ultron, to protect the world. The fact that a human put up with a giant supervillain really does put the other Avengers to shame. Yeah, big man in a suit of armor. Take that off, what are you? Genius billionaire playboy philanthropist. Now who can say that in one go? There's no way that Iron Man and Captain America can unite upon a decision, and they don't shy away from telling each other that either. We see the first moment of animosity between the two in the helicarrier in Avengers Assemble. Big man in a suit of armor, take that off. What are you, says Cap, as he takes this moment to show off his diligence, whereas Tony uses it as a chance to indeed flex his aptitude and show that the suit doesn't make the man. You're a laboratory experiment, Rogers. Everything special about you came out of a bottle. From this point on, we see both ensue upon their contrasting personality, especially Toadie's, because in this particular phase, we get to know his persona. This moment brings us the most iconic dialogue of Tony Stark in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. In at eight is Iron Man versus Thor. Shakespeare in the park doth mother know you weareth her drapes. A smart man in a suit versus a god, it's obvious from the beginning that the Avengers didn't like each other, especially in the case of this Asgardian prince and Tony. We see their first fight in Avengers Assemble when they chase Loki. Tony doesn't lose his chill while clashing with the almighty Thor in an ambitious fight. It's pretty obvious that both proud heroes can't set their egos aside. Considering he could fly faster and had more powerful abilities, including his mighty Mjolnir, there, Thor was way stronger than Iron Man, but hey, Tony was just joking and did pretty well against him. The moments of Earth's mightiest heroes pulling off against each other is worth the detour. I am Iron Man. Next up we have I am Iron Man. Well, this was actually said by Tony, of course. Most superheroes protect their secret identities. Opening a press conference with a bold statement is unheard of, but hey, it's Tony Stark we're talking about here. Showing off is no big deal for him at all. I'm the best. In fact, the way he was bold enough to announce himself as Iron Man shaped the direction of the MCU. If he hadn't taken this opportunity to reveal himself as Iron Man, the MCU would be different to the way we know it today. Till this day, this moment's called one of the most iconic Iron Man moments. No wonder this line's one of the best you can ever find in a movie. I know just where to put it. Number six is Saving New York. Tony Stark's one of those characters who'd live up to their ego, but Iron Man's the complete opposite. The fact that he proved Captain Wrong defines his heroic personality, and we see a taste of this in Avengers Assemble when New York's under attack from the Chitauri, and only Iron Man can save it from nuclear annihilation. Flying into the sky with a rocket really took a mental toll on him. From this moment on, we see his anxiety of unworldly creatures that turns him to make Ultron and predict the endgame. Thus, from this bold moment, we know that Iron Man's ready to sacrifice sacrifice himself to protect others.
Coming in at fifth place is the Plane Rescue. Tony Stark's indeed a genius and well known for conjuring out of the box ideas, and we see such a moment like this in Iron Man 3. After the plane's punctured, which sends all the passengers free falling into the sky, Iron Man chains every plummeting passenger together by electrifying their arms, then drops them off gently into a body of water just off the coast of Miami. He saves the passengers, but wait! He's not even there! Tony Stark yet again performs and only he could do that stunt by not actually being there in the first place at all. This moment's considered one of the most powerful moments of Tony Stark. All right, Jarvis, but it's only half done with the You're Bruce Banner. Yeah. Right, 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 don't mention puny Banner. <laughs> Hulk vs Hulkbuster is at number 4. There's so much love for fight scenes with Iron Man in, don't you agree? Because whenever he's involved, you can always expect a little touch of humour. Absolutely ridiculous, I don't pain. It's no wonder why Spider-Man talks a lot in his battles when he has Stark as his mentor. What is this guy's problem, Mr. Stark? Uh, he's from space, he came here to steal a necklace from a wizard. But humour alone doesn't make this scene a memorable one. What makes this moment reach the top five is because viewers see Stark use one of his favourite suits, the Hulkbuster. In the comics, it first appeared in Iron Man Volume 1, number 304, during May 1994. As the name suggests, it was created so that Stark could engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat with Hulk. In the movie, it was designed for precautionary measures in case Hulk ever loses control again, which he did, obviously. Aren't the civilians lucky that Stark created this suit, hey? Especially since no other Avenger was able to lend a hand, thus forcing Iron Man to handle their little green friend alone. The Cave Escape comes in at number 3. Having spent weeks imprisoned while working on a combat suit, Tony Stark finally shows us what a true superhero is made of. It's the will to act that gets him out of the cave. Besides being a nice ode to the original comic book suit, Iron Man's first appearance is an unforgettable moment, backed by an awkward dismantling of the prison camp that showcases Stark's combat inexperience. Wielding a pair of flamethrowers with unease, Tony takes down the very weapons he helped create, turning the page on his former life and beginning as a new man our very own Iron Man. Making his own armor out of weapons and escaping a hell hole's no joke, thus from this moment onwards, we see a different phase of the MCU shaping it to the way it is today. At number two is Iron Man versus Captain America and the Winter Soldier. He's my friend. So was I. When Tony Stark finds out that Bucky Barnes was framed by Zemo, he rushes to find Captain America and Bucky in a Siberian Hydra facility. There's a temporary truce between the three as they enter the Hydra facility that soon turns into an intense fight. Tony Stark finds out that Bucky's the one who killed his parents when Zemo plays some old footage. This enrages Tony and he asks Captain America if he knew about Bucky's involvement in his parents' death. Cap agrees that he knew and the fight ensues. The intensity of the scene and given the dilemma that we knew, we couldn't even be mad at Captain America or Bucky. We do empathise deeply with Stark as well. The audience can't pick a side and that's why this scene is high on the list. My father made that shield. And our last entry is I Am Iron Man from Avengers Endgame. Tony Stark hasn't generally been the most courageous figure, yet the once childish playboy absolutely stepped up in Avengers Endgame. Probably the best snapshot of Endgame was seeing Tony take the Infinity Stones from Thanos and wear them all in his own gauntlet. This moment proved Cap wrong as he always said that Tony was selfish and they'd never sacrifice his life. When Tony stated I Am Iron Man before snapping his fingers, fans were unquestionably cheering Tony and it also made them cry their eyes out that he left his daughter and wife to save the world. While this may have been a triumphant minute, fans likewise realised that Tony couldn't withstand the intensity of the gauntlet, which made this a clashing point. This counts as the most precious and most heartbreaking moment in a movie. You can rest. 
So what do you think of this list? Which is your favourite Iron Man moment? Do you think that there are other moments that are more deserving to be on the list? Feel free to give your opinions in the comment section below. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to never miss my new uploads. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on the TV Regent. I love you 3000.